Snell, welcome to a new episode of Final Final And today we're going to be blasting Pennsylvania's Gorophobia Vile Beast of Abomination on Dark Descent Records. This is some killer fucking East Coast death metal from Pennsylvania. 1990 to 2004. This comp is bad fucking ass. Gorophobia is fucking sick. I love this fucking band and I love this comp. And just the fact that it exists is one of those things that is one of the reasons I really, really love labels like Dark Descent Records as they put out badass releases like this that other labels probably would be like, eh, who's gonna buy that? Well, I know I fucking was so stoked as soon as I saw something like this because I fucking love Gorephobia and getting all this material in one place is fucking great. Dark Descent Records, Gorephobia, Vile Beast of Abomination. Get into this bad boy. It's so fucking good. And speaking of, like, Midwest, East Coast death metal, this next release hails from the Midwest, but has a very, very heavy East Coast vibe to it. Mostly New York, but... These Ohio Maniacs in regurgitation on their sole full-length record, Tales of Necrophilia, absolutely, literally nail that brutal death metal sound that so many bands nowadays strive for. If this was released today, brand new, this would probably be a maggot stomp release. Seriously, it reminds me of something along those lines, but released in 1999 during very, very quiet year for death metal. But Hell's Headbangers did a bang-up job on this reissue from the gore-drenched artwork to the fucking actual record cosmetics to the production quality of this bad boy. This sounds amazing the vocals are so fucking perfect in the mix amazing drumming amazing riffs everything about tales of necrophilia is fucking sick and regurgitation play brutal death metal written by fans of brutal death metal for fans of brutal death metal and let's read the hype sticker shall we because also, here's how many numbers there are of this bad boy. And there is no black vinyl, which is strange, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Because this record right here, it is available on CD. And the CD version comes with the demo. So, keep that in mind. But 250 neon green and red splatter vinyl, which is what I have. 250 yellow and red vinyl, 111 picture disc vinyl, and the CD version. This would be sick on cassette, but I don't think it got a reissue on cassette. Super Cult Loan Album from this American death metal crew. Available on vinyl for the first time ever. Originally released in 1999 on the Cult Abated Records. During death metal's quiet renaissance that would bloom in the decade to follow. Which is very much fucking true. Um, this has all the gory grind, beat down riffs, and truly unforgettable art that maniacs old and new will worship. Fuck yeah. That is dialed right there. If I didn't know about this band and I read that, I would buy a copy. But just based off the artwork alone, I would buy a copy. But knowing ahead of time how fucking sick this was, oh yeah. As soon as I saw it was getting a reissue, I was like, oh my god. And thanks to John Randall, here it is. 
and I'm discussing fucking tracks like Out of the Womb, Repulsive Genital Disfigurement with you maniacs and it's awesome so let's get an acid enema together and enjoy some fucking regurgitation but here's some more amazing artwork and even more sickening vinyl cosmetics from hell's headbanger records i really really love 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 the artwork here and no i am not a misogynist i just love death metal artwork Fucking gore to the bone. And this is just disgusting looking vinyl. I, I love it. It sounds great. It looks great. And that's all that matters is that it fucking sounds great. I'm curious of what the yellow and red version looks like. Because this looks sick, but... These four maniacs right here are responsible for this slab of fucking butchery in my hands right now when i first looked at this i remember thinking that james Locke had done the like background art but i was just dead ass wrong it's very very heavily james Locke, you know inspired obviously vincent lock i i'm sorry i don't know why i'm fucking saying james i'm sorry ah <laughs> my bad i fucked up but I'm not redoing this video, I apologize. But we have Tony Tipton on guitars, Brian Baxter on vocals and bass, Dan, ba Dan Baker on drums, and Ben Deskins on vocals and guitars. The vocals on here are so fucking good. They just make you wanna eat a bunch of maggots and have sex with corpses. Seriously, this is so fucking dialed. And the audio is remastered by Tony Tipton, who just knocked it out of the fucking graveyard. So goddamn good. Recorded, mixed, and mastered by Jeremy Wasenick and Regurgitation. Recorded in March 1999 at the Recording Workshop in Chillicothe, Ohio, USA. All music and lyrics written by Regurgitation. And yeah, this is just fucking sick stuff. Artists are Russell Evans, Alfonso Art Gore, Ruiz, and Dether. Bonus track released on the Eat the Evidence comp CD and recorded at the recording workshop. Awesome, awesome stuff here. And I apologize for fucking Locke's name up. But his artwork definitely kind of reminded me of this right here. This collage of dead bodies with the band in the middle. Super, super sick stuff. I fucking love this record. And if you're a fan of early suffocation, embalmer, Midwest death metal in general, New York death metal... Get New York death metal and Ohio Midwest death metal to get together and fuck pretty much their child would be Tales of Necrophilia by Regurgitation. Hails to fucking Hell's Headbangers for reissuing this brutal, brutal slab of fucking death metal. Every track on here is absolutely amazing. So get stuck in some fermenting vaginal excrements and dive into the reissue of this late 90s death metal gem by Regurgitation, Tales of Necrophilia, reissued by the mighty Hell's Headbangers Records. Grab a copy before it is gone forever. And again, absolutely sickening artwork. And these four fucking maniacs right here just absolutely killed it with this release. It's a bummer that this is all they have, but hey, better to go out on top than, you know, to kind of fade away. Because who knows, regurgitation could still be out there fucking absolutely making your hair grow three inches with tracks like fucking cadaveric impregnation, but... What we're left with is just this fucking absolute monster of a death metal record. And again, 
thanks to John Randall for helping me out with this bad boy. So fucking sick. And again, if you're a fan of brutal death metal, especially from the Midwest and New York, you're going to absolutely devour Regurgitation Tales of Necrophilia. So fucking good. If you're a fan of death metal, you have no excuse not to at least check out the fucking tunes in the video description. So fucking good. You'll be as happy as this fucking dude right here. And that's probably how you're gonna feel after listening to this beast. Completely skinned of your humanity. Left just to butcher the undead in the cemetery. So fucking sick. And we were blasting Pennsylvania's Gorophobia, Vile Beast of Abomination on Dark Descent Records. Amazing, amazing death metal comp. And yeah, I just felt like going over some sickening, sickening, brutal fucking death metal with you sickos. As I know you'll enjoy it as much as I did, especially that regurgitation release. Tales of Necrophilia is so fucking good. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hells, yeah.